Hey guys, welcome to You Can Fix Anything. Today we're going to install a Honeywell Home RTH9585WF Smart Color Thermostat. This also has Wi-Fi capability. So this should be a pretty big upgrade from the current setup. So first thing we're going to do is head to the breaker box and find the switch that is for the air handling and uh, heating air conditioning unit which we're going to be turning off so we have two units here at this location so we'll look for the attic one going to flip that off you can see the numbers line up there and it's got the bar across so we go to the old thermostat it's off we can just pry it off and begin to remove the wires now it's important to take note or take a picture of which wires go where um, so that when you get to the next thermostat installation, you will know what goes where. Um, so to remove these, pretty simple. Uh, I mean, different thermostats are different, but generally, uh, I've seen a lot of them that are just have these little, you can unscrew these little um, bits that hold in the wires, and you can pull them out, and once those are pulled out, you can unscrew the bracket that is holding in uh well was holding in the old thermostat okay so once that's been removed we're going to kind of straighten out these wires a little bit and put on the new plate for the new thermostat and you can see this one's a little bit different than the previous one it's got a little bit different type of connectors but we will uh, go over how to use these and get things connected and so for this you'll notice um, we have the different color wires indicating different types of um, heating and cooling etc pieces of the um, system now First, we're going to start by putting in the blue wire. The blue wire generally corresponds to the, um, it's called the common wire. Uh, this is what powers the unit. Uh, a lot of newer uh, systems have this. Some of the old ones don't. They just use batteries. Uh, the next wire which we have is the red one. And you notice there's... Uh, this is an RH or RC. It's um, a basically a power for the heating and cooling. And you'll notice there's a little um, jumper down below that connects the RH and the RC together so that they are actually function off the same wire. Okay, the next one we're going to do is the orange one. Now, this system here is a heat pump, and it uses the orange-type connector. Uh, we're going to put that in the O slash B uh, connection port. Next, we have the yellow. This is a stage one or first stage compressor. Um, this will be put into the uh, Y section. And you can see a lot of these are the, the color indicates with the letter. Um, G has green. We're going to put that one in next. This is for the first stage fan. So it controls the fan. Uh, we'll get that one connected in. And sometimes it helps if you push down the little uh, button to get these in. You don't have to do that, but sometimes it makes it a little bit easier. Then last, we're going to put in the white one. This is for all, this is for the um, secondary heat. Um, or E uh, can also, uh, sometimes it's called E. All right, so once those are all hooked in, we can put on our base plate. Once that's all put on, we're going to flip our breaker back on, and that should provide power to the common wire, which will turn on our system. So we are going to go through the settings. Um, this is for a home. We are going to just give it a name. Uh, Call it upstairs thermal. Obviously, you can name this whatever you'd like. Okay, 
go next. This is for cooling and heating. We have a heat pump, as we mentioned earlier, and we use an O-wire. You saw it was orange. The blue, if it was blue, it would be the blue wire. And we only had one Y-wire connected, so we're going to save one stage. And we plugged in our W2 aux slash E. So we have put those settings in. Okay, so we can set a uh, temperature or a type. And you'll notice it'll say waiting for equipment. Don't worry about that. It will take about five or 10 minutes to get this thing ready. And now it's up and running. You'll see it says cool on in the bottom there. And so it's functioning and it's running. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to set up the Wi-Fi for this so we can connect it uh, with an app and control it with an app. So I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi network here. Um, it's connecting after I've entered my password. Then it's going to give me some information that I can use to uh, register this device. So I'm going to the website, creating some, uh, creating an inf a, a login account, entering my location, and um, giving it a name and then it's going to ask for that information that was just displayed on the thermostat so i'm going to enter that in there once i enter that in it will begin registering my device then it's going to ask me to uh, set the heat to 80 on the device just to see that it's, i have access to it so once i've done that i will check this box hit submit and then it will check that i did that and it will register my device once complete, it will show me a success single. Then once I've downloaded the app, I can take a look at the information. It says device is off. Uh, you know, it's got a couple of different things. It's kind of cut off a little bit here, but you can change different settings here and you can set a schedule, um, look at offers that they have. And I'm going to show how to set a schedule here. It's got four different, um, you can set it four different time intervals at different temperatures. So I'm just gonna sell these. Um, but uh, after I've set them, I realized that, you know, I don't actually need it at four different intervals. I generally have two different time intervals. So you can actually remove some of these intervals here, just like I'm doing here. And so I just have a wake up and a sleeping one. And there you go, and I'll hit submit. And then that will be the schedule that is set. And that is that. All right. Thanks for watching. If you found anything useful, please like and subscribe.